Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Today we are on the island of Oahu in Hawaii at the world famous Dole Pineapple Plantation. This is a huge tourist spot for people coming to Hawaii. They've got all kinds of activities including uh, the world's largest maze certified by the Guinness Book of World Records, a, uh, a train tour through the fields, there's a, a garden tour, there's a, a huge store, pineapple cutting demonstrations, uh, there's a, a whole grill where you can eat uh, foods that they, uh, they, they grow and prepare there. Um, just lots of cool stuff, lots and lots of cool stuff. So, if you have not been there or have been interested in seeing what that experience is like to visit the Dole Plantation, we are gonna give you a glimpse. So, take a look at our journey. This is the Dole Pineapple Plantation in Hawaii, which is responsible for, gosh, probably 90% of the pineapple across the world. And there are a lot of things to do here. Um, they have the world's largest maze, the Pineapple Express train tour, plantation garden tour. You can do all of it as a combo for like 26 bucks. So cheap enough. So we decided first to go on the Pineapple Express because the wait for the train ride can be up to two hours. So I recommend if you're gonna do it, go there early and do it first. The train will come and pick you up. The train ride is about uh, 20 minutes or so, 20 to 25 minutes around the property. It goes through all the, the fields where they're growing various things. And uh, it shows the beauty of the land there as well as the dirt and grit of the land there like this and some old worn out machinery that used to be used to process the things they grow here. And you can see that they, they grow a ton of stuff. Um, you know, there's avocados, they do bananas, they do sugar cane, uh, cocoa, coffee, uh, you name it. They grow a lot of stuff, lemons and limes, just tons and tons of, of things. And, um, of course, pineapple. Lots and lots of pineapple right out there. Just fields and fields and fields of pineapple. So it's pretty cool driving through all this stuff and seeing what they have to offer and what they grow. You also see their solar farm where they make a lot of their energy as well as this reservoir that they have where they collect rainwater and stuff and they use that to water their crops. So it's very energy efficient with the solar and the reservoir usage. Um, but uh, of course, the main thing among all of these is pineapple. Yes. <laughs> and there's some right there, some little baby pineapples. So I recommend the train tour. It's pretty cool, about 20 minutes, like I say. After the train tour, we went ahead and walked towards the, uh, the store. And as you go to the store, there are a lot of local vendors that do art and painting and carvings and things like that that you can encounter there. There's some pineapple glazed roasted nuts. We got some of that, which is really good. And then there's this huge merchandise store where you can get all sorts of Dole labeled merchandise. And uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, plushies and t-shirts and cups. And uh, some of the coolest stuff though is that they offer food that they make there and they grow there. They've got coffees and nuts and jellies and uh, chocolate candies that they make. Uh, also, of course, a lot of pineapple products, dried fruit, different things like that to try. Really, really good. And as you make your way to the back of the store, they have a pineapple demonstration every hour. And this shows you basically the proper way to prepare and cut a pineapple as well as present it and kind of flavor it with this special flavoring that they have. And that fresh pineapple is so good. So after we did that, we went out to the Pineapple Garden Maze. And this is a Guinness Book of World Records holder for the world's largest maze. And it is big. It is big and shaped just like a pineapple. If you see it, from overhead, it looks like this. There's a pineapple in the middle and then just the hedge maze goes everywhere. And you get a little map just in case, but there are eight little secret stations that you try to find. And I did my best Jack Terrence from The Shining, uh, Jack Nicholson there walking through the, the hedge maze. Luckily, there was no snow for me to get lost and frozen in. But uh, 
you can see there's a lot of different things that you can decide. Do I, you know, do I want to go that way? Do I want to go this way? I, I'm not sure which way to go to find this little magic location. Um, it, you will get muddy and dirty in this maze, especially if it has just rained. It rained a little bit just before we got there, so you see a lot of mud on the trail. And once you do find your way through the maze to these eight little locations, you are greeted with signs that look like this, and it tells something about one of the Hawaiian Islands. It features facts about Hawaiian Islands, and on the sign there's also a little little QR code you can scan to record that you found that one, as well as a stencil. You get a card that you can trace or stencil that onto so that you know what you found. And the maze takes about an hour to get through and find everything. Now after that, of course, we were hungry, so we went over to the grill. And they offer all kinds of Hawaiian food at this grill. Really, really good stuff. It's about 18 bucks a plate, but you get a lot of food like this here. This is some uh, some kula pork with rice and a salad and some spicy fire sauce right there. So good. Also, we got the kula pork sandwich with fresh pineapple and that spicy fire sauce with fries. Man, really, really good pork. Really good sandwich, great fries. And uh, like I said, about 18 bucks a plate for that, and it will fill you up. And you get to share it with friends that are on property, like uh, this guy, who was really loud. And there are tons of these little guys running all over the place. Super cute. And they all want your food. Of course, we also had to get some of the pineapple ice cream with fresh pineapple. You got to. You're on the Dole Plantation, and uh, mm, man really good. So, with full bellies, we decided to head out to the plantation garden. And this is where they have a lot of uh, plants that are native to the area, a lot of flowers and trees and bushes and fruits and things like that that you can walk around and look and it's a beautiful presentation. You can also see some banana trees right out there getting ready to make some dull bananas. And, uh, uh, but the, the, the feature really is a lot of these flowers and things that are, are native to land. Really, really pretty to, to walk through. Really serene. This is, uh, that's a bird of paradise right there. I bet you thought it was a bird. No, it's a plant. And, uh, you just get to see a lot of, a lot of this really cool stuff. This is a, a, a very peaceful walk. And it's a self-guided walk through the garden. Takes about, eh, depending on how much time you want to spend out there about 20 minutes or so. So you're looking at, with just these activities, about an hour and 40 minutes, two hours. Uh, and then, you know, eating and stuff like that. So it's a good day at the Dole Pineapple Plantation on Oahu. Check it out if you are on the islands. It's a good afternoon. There you have it. There's an overview of the Dole Pineapple Plantation on the island of Oahu in Hawaii. Lots of stuff to do, lots of fun to be had, lots of good food to be eaten. Mmm. So I do recommend that you stop by there. It's pretty cool. Doesn't take a whole lot of time. You can be, you know, in and out of there four or five hours if, if you eat, you know, and, and stuff like that. So uh, it's a good, uh, good probably half day of activity if you're looking to get out of the sun a little bit and see some cool Hawaiian stuff. So, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you are at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.